Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's time for episode 15, and we're continuing our playthrough of Portal 2. We accidentally woke GLaDOS. I, I don't even think it was us so much as it was Wheatley. Um, he accidentally woke GLaDOS, and she kindly dropped us into the uh, incinerator. And we appear to be missing the... Uh, the dual portal beam. How nice. Alright, let us make our way across the precarious... Oh. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay. Don't mind me. Just navigating through the debris. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. <laughs> you have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we uh -huh. haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Um, because that doesn't sound creepy at all, does it? Alright. Let's get around the debris. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event oh. of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, oh. if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put uh -huh. this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. <laughs> oh my. Okay. 60 years, more or less, you say. All right. All right. Um, I don't see anywhere I can get a portal up there, so let's go ahead and do this. Oop. Small lip. Then what? Go there? You know what, though? Let me just double check. Is there anything else around here? No. Okay. Quivering f <laughs> ceiling plates aplenty. That was down where I came from. Oh, because it's more of those pellet thingies. Okay. Um. Oh! 19, you say? I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But mm -hmm. the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, mm -hmm. who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Um. Because that's not creepy. Gonna take up reanimating the dead after I'm dead. Yeah, good. Farts are best veiled? Maybe? Remain calm. Uh, I don't know. Not with GLaDOS going. You know, I had the last very long while to threaten, or to watch you kill me over and over and over again. Yeah, we got about 60 years of your life to test you, and then, uh, you know, maybe I might take up a habit like reanimating the dead. Chapter 2, The Cold Boot. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, <laughs> thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, <clears throat> that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. 
which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Mm -hmm. Thermal discouragement beam. I believe those are deadly lasers. Wait, what? I guess that panel should be in a different spot. <laughs> okay. All right. One of 22. Oh, we got a few more uh, testing chambers to do again. Ah, so this is one of the new features that they added in Portal 2, because remember, we had the power pellets and we had a bunch of other stuff, and now we have the um, thermal disengagement beam, also known as a deadly laser. So, given that this is pretty much the same testing setup as the power pellets, it's probably safe to assume that this is to teach you that uh, they work with the portals. Matter of fact... Given that that's what the artwork was on the screen, that kind of screams that that's uh, that this was designed to help you work with the portals. All right. Um. Oh, <laughs> except for one small thing. I need to be standing on that plate when it lifts up. There we go. Not bad. Now we got it. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Oh, a lot of tests to do, you say. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I do like that they give you at least some hints about things before they really throw the fun stuff at you. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Hmm. There should be one in the corner. Uh-huh. Before I had my episode. Oh, you mean before I murdered you justifiably? All right, so again, we, we've got our uh, plate for chamber two, and uh, so we got more of these guys, and we've got our new lasers and mirrors. Oh, jumping games. I'm not playing a jumping game. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Alright, so that's what we need to power to get there. There's no help up there. Um, I just wanted to knock it off for the fun of it. Alright, then... Uh, let's do this. Let's... Drop a portal under there. Let's head back over to this side. Hey, there we go. Let there be stairs. And there was. And I'm not playing jumping games with a laser. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Something doesn't sound like it's doing so well, though. Oh, it's that wall plate. Uh. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Just put one of those there, and one of those there, and look! Well done. We have weight. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. <laughs> we weren't even testing for that. Oh. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> 
the test results are in. You're a horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you mm -hmm. feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's. Wow. I forgot. I forgot just how rough this game gets. Like you, you thought you thought they needled you before. Uh, science has now validated your mo birth mother's decision to leave you on a doorstep. Um, that's that's something. Oh, oh. oh good. The rooms are finishing assembling. All right. Just because I can't help myself. All right, so we've got one of those redirection beams up there. We've probably... It looks like we got two... Yes. Two things that we need to light up. So what we're probably going to end up doing is getting a redirection beam on that platform up there to point it there. And then maybe getting a beam from that one there up there. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's head here then. Oh. That wasn't far enough, was it? Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Ooh. <laughs> I think she just called me fat. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure she just called me fat. Wow. All right. Hmm. Hmm. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to <laughs> slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Uh huh. It's kind of a nice touch that she's building it as you go. You gonna light up and tell me what the deal is? No? Okay, fine. Can I crawl in here? No. Oh, there we go. Number four. More companion cubes and lasers. Let's see what... Oh. That does not seem like a secure floor. And I really don't trust you, lady. Alright, so, we get a companion cube over there, and a button that'll probably drop us a cube. We got nice environmental touches over there. We're going to eventually have to get that laser beam over there. So what's with the cube? Oh, there is a button over there. Okay. Um, hmm. 
Let's not let a cube fall on us. And I like that uh, in this version, just about everywhere you see the option to get a cube, you can request another one. So if it drops in the lake of death, you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about accidentally uh, <laughs> having to start all over again. All right, um, you know what? That might actually be right. Oop. Blue. Okay. So when the laser is done, does that stop it? Yep. Okay. Alright, so I didn't need to bring the cube all the way over there. I can just get it to go here. And then drop the blue over there. <laughs> I don't think that was the intended uh, use, but... but for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over hey, to the hey, elevator hey. and we'll continue the testing. Whoa. Waddle over to the elevator, you say. I think I know where we're at. This, uh... Yeah, this will be fun. We've got another new piece that is uh, new to Portal 2 to help make the puzzles more this interesting. This involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. <laughs> okay. So we got a fair amount of portable surface there. Uh, put that right there for now. So we step on that and we land on the target. Ah! Well, okay then. I love doing that. Okay. But that doesn't answer where the cube is. Okay. So the cube is there. Uh huh. Okay. Pretty sure I'm supposed to catch this midair. Oof. Yeah, okay, that motion blurs a bit much. Here's an interesting I could, fact. I could do without You're that. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive huh. to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
Okay. There does seem to be a lot of debris going down there, too. More, f more of the aerial faith plates. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, on that note, thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already helped the channel out, follow in Twitch and subscribe to YouTube. That way you'll get notified when I go live on Twitch and when new episodes and other content get posted to YouTube. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode and YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.